Hi everyone, so today we are going to look at Cosmo Photos 100 ISO black and white negative film. Let's take a look. So, yeah, guys, um, I'm back again. Um, sorry it's been so long, it's just been really, really busy with everything recently. And with work and the kids at home and stuff just trying to get the time to catch up on all the videos again so I do promise I will try to get back into the schedule of doing these once a week I do have quite a lot in the pipeline um, in terms of films that I need to get developed to share with you guys the one that um, we're looking at today is Cosmo Photo Mono um, 100 ISO film now I've wanted to try this film for quite a while now and I'm really excited to see how the pictures have turned out let me get them developed and then I'll see you guys in a minute. So that's me finished developing these. Now um, what I used was my Ilfotech DDX um, with the Ilfo stop and rapid fix as well. I just took them out of the photo flow there. So let's take a wee look and see what we've got. Okay. They're actually looking really good. Um, it'll be hard for you to see here, but what I'll do is I will get these hung up and we'll take a look at them on the computer. Okay, everyone, so I've got these all scanned up uh, using the Epson V600 as always, and I've just loaded them into Lightroom here after I've done my editing and sort of dust removal. So the first picture here, I was using the 50mm 1.7 MD Minolta lens and I think this was pretty much wide open um, but you can see if I had just stopped it down a little bit more all of this writing would have been clear but I'm quite impressed with how sharp it is and how sharp the film is as well because you can see there's very little grain which is great and I like a little bit of grain but not too much and um, you can see the texture of the cup and the writing is pretty much all visible and I really like the contrast in the Cosmo Photo Mono and there's a good separation from the, the cup in the background um, and the, the blur in the background is just nice and smooth so I'm quite impressed this one is just of some flowers that I had around at my in-laws house Again, the contrast is really good. Like there's separation between the petals and and the flowers in the sky. I love the the contrast between the flowers and the the hedges in the background as well. And the sharpness is just really really good. Like this is a it is an I, ISO one hundred film, which you'd expect the detail to be really good in. But I'm I'm really quite impressed. Just some more flowers again, but. Again, if you can get a really good contrasty scene, this film just seems to work really well. And again, the details captured, it, whether it's the, the film or the, the lens, is just really good. So this is a, um, a Turkish eye, which is a, a good luck charm in Turkey and the Middle East. And again, really high contrast scene with the white wall and the... So this is like a... A blue, the the eyes blue, and the this all this metal is kind of black, but again, I love the even the texture and the wall as well. This again, the contrast in in this scene is really good. Like, and the texture of the leaves is great. It really shows that sort of leathery exterior, with the different veins going through the leaves. This one, when I was editing it, I kind of had to bump the. The highlights down a bit just to see the, the more of the details in the the flowers here but it worked out quite well and this is again is just one of those moments why i wanted to take up photography just we were out on a walk to the shop and i just saw my son holding my wife's hand like this and thought that was just perfect and there's just from a bit further back and there's my beautiful wife hannah holding Layla in her, her big sling all cosy and warm it was quite cold that day but again I love the the detail in this it's not too grainy and the contrast is just great 
I just saw these butter these butterfly um, statues stuck on this tree and thought it looked quite nice. It worked out quite well. I like the the contrast in the between the colours on the butterflies themselves. There's quite good separation there. Now this, I did not expect this to turn out like this. So this was with the the Minolta fully wide open. I just wanted to see what the bokeh was like on it. These were just a few berry, like red berries on a, a big bush around while we were walking to the shop. And it looks, it's like, I don't know, it's like a, it's almost like a charcoal sketch. The way it's turned out, like the, the bokeh kind of gives it that kind of, like it's been, the charcoal's been kind of smoothed out. But I really, I really like this. And if this was in colour, I don't think it would have worked. But with this, the, the Cosmo Photo Mono, it just, it really, it's, for me anyway, um, it's given it something kind of special. Leave a comment down below what you think of this, because I think I, I would really like to take more photos like this. Here's another one. It just, it has this kind of sketch, I don't know how to describe it, but it's definitely, for this, I like this style. Um, it kind of has another world kind of feel to it, but I definitely, I really like that. And there's just some more, these are just a couple more of Jake. Again, love the the contrast and the shadows, um, and the detail. Like you can see in the the wood that Jake's laying in on here, you can see all the textures as well. <laughs> and this is the last one, just a, a funny one of Jake dancing down the street. <laughs> so that's the um, end of the video, guys. Um, let me know what you thought of Cosmo Photo in the comments below. For me, um, it is a really good film. Um, it's great for sort of high contrast scenes. Um, and if it's quite short because it's an ISO 100 film, you get quite a lot of detail with it as well. So if you want a good, sharp, crisp photo, it's definitely one to go for. Now, um, it wouldn't be my go-to for just the day-to-day -day family photography stuff. Um, so that will always be just um, Ilford HP5 for me. Um, but I definitely I have another roll of the Cosmo photo um, in the fridge there and I definitely want to see if I can recreate some more of those um, pictures that I took with the blur background. But yeah guys, um, thank you very much for watching. Now, YouTube says only a very very small amount of you are, are subscribing, that are watching. So guys please, if you like the content, please please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe as well and thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye guys.